Hello viewers, in this video we will demonstrate a conjugate heat transfer simulation in a channel with protrusions. In this problem, there is a rectangular channel in which there are some protrusions which are allened at an angle of 45 degrees to the flow velocity. Water enters at a velocity of 0.00835 meters per second and temperature of 295 Kelvin. There is a constant heat flux from the heater wall at a 12,500 watt per meter square. Find out the temperature distribution, surface nusselt number and skin friction coefficient on the heater surface. From this tutorial you would learn how to set up a conjugate heat transfer problem. How to mesh the geometry using sweep meshing method. How to plot a reference line along any boundary surface. How to find out the surface nusselt number plot skin friction coefficient on a protruded surface. Before we start the tutorial, it's a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications of our new uploads. Welcome to the tutorial part 2. In the previous part we had seen how to create the geometry in ANSI's design modeler and do the meshing. In the current demonstration we would see the CFD solver setup, solution process and the CFD post processing. Double click on setup. Select the double precision model for better accuracy then click on start. Check the mesh, the minimum volume should not be negative. Check the mesh quality. Go to models in tree outline. Turn on the energy equation for heat transfer calculation. In the viscous model select the laminar model. Click on Materials, open the Fluent Material Database. Add water from the Fluent Database. Change the density to 1000 kg per meter cube. Click on Change Create then Close. Select the materials to the respective cell zones. Select the boundary conditions. For simplicity, group the boundary surfaces as per their types. Put the inlet velocity and inlet temperature. Keep the default pressure outlet boundary type at the outlet. The heat flux on the heater surface 12,500 watt per meter square. Put the heat flux equals zero for insulated wall boundaries. Enable the highlight zone to get the wall and shadow wall position. The interface wall between the solid and fluid is generated automatically, keep these as coupled wall to transfer heat between the two different cell zones.
select the simplex pressure velocity coupling scheme and green gauze cell based spatial discretization. Decrease the energy residuals up to 10 to the power minus 15 and other residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6. It would increase the number of iterations which will result in a better solution accuracy. Click on OK. Click on Initialization, select Standard Initialization, select Compute from Inlet. And initialize the setup. After initialization, go to File menu, select Data File Quantities. In the additional quantities, select the Skin Friction Coefficient, Surface Nusselt Number and Surface Heat Transfer Coefficient. Go to Run Calculation. Put 1000 numbers of iteration and click on Calculate. Calculation is complete, save the solution and proceed for CFD post-processing. Double-click on Results to open the CFD post-processing window. Go to Location and insert a plane. Put the plane parallel to the YZ plane and at the middle of the geometry. Insert a contour to observe the variations on this new midplane. You can also modify the default legend view. Click on the camera icon to save the contour image. Select the desired size and quality of the contour. Choose the location and save it. Similarly you can get the contour of other parameters. We had received many queries regarding how to get the location line along any curved path or any irregular surface to plot any graph. So, let's know about how to plot these location lines by the help of a reference polyline option along any boundary surface. At first, you need to create a new plane on that location, then go to Insert and insert a polyline. Select the method as Boundary Intersection. In the Boundary drop-down list, select the boundary surface on which you want the polyline. Select Intersect with the reference plane. Then click on Apply. A polyline will be created along the boundary surface at that plane location. Similarly you can create the polyline along any location.
Insert a new chart. Switch to Data Series tab, select the polyline as the location. At the X axis, select the Z length as the variable. And in the Y axis, select the surface heat transfer coefficient as the variable to plot the chart. Similarly plot other variables. In the boundary list select the solid wall as the boundary. Change the variable as the temperature to plot the temperature of the protrusions along the boundary surface. With this, let's conclude this tutorial demonstration. If you find this tutorial helpful then don't forget to hit the like button. Comment below if have any query or suggestion. Please subscribe to our channel if you find these tutorials helpful. If you want to know how to create the geometry and mesh of this simulation, then watch part 1 of this tutorial. You can find the link given in the tutorial description. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.